I got a new power station. Hi everybody, I'm Rob and this is Stormcrow Overland where we talk about going on adventures, road tripping, camping, and just generally getting out and enjoying life. On this week's episode, we're going to talk about this little guy right here. It's the Renogy Phoenix 200. It is a 222 watt hour uh, power station. And uh, just for full disclosure, I didn't pay for this. I actually won it in a little drawing on Instagram. Uh, my buddy, uh, Dan Beardley, who I will have a, I will link to in the, in the comments or the video description. I'll make sure I have a link to his thing. Uh, he was doing a giveaway uh, where he was working with uh, Renogy to give away a couple of these little power stations, and I won. And that's cool because I, I never win anything on Instagram. So I uh, won this. I've uh, been using it just a little bit to kind of try it out. And it's kind of a neat little deal. It's just, uh, I, I already have a Blue Eddy AC50S. It's a 500 watt hour uh, power station. Uh, so it was, now I've got this little bit. So this one's a little bit smaller, uh, a little less capacity. Uh, but this one's got some neat things about it. Uh, let's see. Really going to kind of start with the features. Uh, like I said, it's 222 watt hour battery. Uh, got a little handle built on top. Nice little thing. It's kind of weird that it's got these little weird cutouts here on the bottom. Uh, but compared to my Blue Eddy, it's significantly smaller, significantly lighter, which makes sense. It's about half the capacity. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, you can charge it with normal DC. Uh, something neat that this one has that I was really surprised by, you can charge it through the USB-C port. It's got one USB-C power delivery port. Um, it doesn't charge very fast through that port. Uh, but if for some reason that's all you had, you can charge it through just the USB-C port. Uh, but something that mentions in the manual that I thought was really neat, if you are, you know, if you're at home getting ready for a trip and you've got it plugged into the wall charging, you, if you've got an extra plug and wire, you can actually plug in the USB-C as well and it will charge even faster uh, with the two of them combined, which I thought was a really neat feature. Uh, and then other than that, so like I said, we got our input, USB-C, uh, two USB-A ports, you got your, your standard 12-volt cigarette plug, and then uh, two AC uh, 110 outlets. It's kind of neat. It's got a, a really nice screen on it. Uh, what I like about the screen, it'll show you if you've got something running off of it, say you, you know, you've got a fridge hooked up or charging your phone or whatever, it will tell you uh, how, how many hours left the battery will last at that, at that draw rate. Uh, it will tell you the battery percentage, so this one right now is currently sitting at 87%, and it will tell you uh, how much input and output it is getting. Uh, so it's kind of neat, uh, pretty pretty standard for the display, really, but uh, it's it looks nice. It's nicely laid out. Um, I know on my Blue Eddy, it's kind of got just five bars for the, uh, for the battery charge level, so you're never quite sure. Is it like, okay, is it at is it 61% or 79%? You're... you're with, you're a little limited by the bar system. Uh, it doesn't bother me a whole lot. Uh, but some people, it's a big deal. Uh, this one actually has the actual percentage on it. It's like I said, 87%. Um, let's see, what else? That's really about it. Uh, one of their features, it is uh, solar compatible. Uh, so you can plug in you know, solar stuff to it. Let me check my notes real quick. Uh, so I'm gonna do, that's really the features. Uh, it, it's It's, Power bank. I mean, we, we all have seen these before. This is nothing new. Um, kind of, I've only really ever used this and my Blue Eddy, so I'm going to kind of compare them just a little bit. Uh, biggest thing on this, some of the pros, it sounds silly. I really like that the input to charge the actual unit is on the same side as all the output. Uh, on my Blue Eddy, you've got all your outputs here, but the inputs in the back. So when I try to put it in the door system in my uh, in the back of my Forerunner, I've got to kind of fidget and move things around and make sure there's room for that plug to come in the back and then plugs to come in the front. Uh, this is nice with all the things being on one side. I can tuck it into the corner of the drawer nice and easy. Doesn't it's, It just fits better. Uh, so that was a really neat pro that I liked. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, obviously, like I said, I talked about the screen. It's a really nice screen. Full color, all that fun stuff. Lots of Tells you everything you need to know. Uh, it is solar ready. Uh, it can, like I said, you can hook a solar panel up to it. 
Uh, according to the owner's manual, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, you can actually hook. It will only charge 60 watts from a solar. Uh, but the way the controller inside is set up, you can actually plug a 200 watt panel into it and it will just kind of reduce down to, and only actually charge at 60 watts. So you can't, you won't overcharge it. Uh, but it's nice to know that you could use up to a 200 watt panel. Um, let's see. Now, I really like this. I think it's really neat. Uh, it's a great small power station, uh, but it's not perfect. No, no product is. Uh, a couple of just a little nitpicky things about it. Uh, and like I said, these are actually very nitpicky. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand this. I don't know why these little cutouts are here. Um, they don't really, you're not going to save any space and really store anything else there. I don't know. It, it, it's just, I don't know. It bothers me. I don't know why it's not just squared off. Uh, but it's like, not a big deal. Just nitpicky thing. Uh, something else nitpicky. It's got this really nice molded in handle on the top. Um, I have fairly large hands, nothing nothing crazy, but I can't really get my hand in there. I can get like a couple fingers, but I can't like grab it like a handle. So it's kind of awkward to carry. You know, carry. Like it doesn't weigh anything. It's not a problem. It's just awkward. I just wish the it was a little deeper so I could actually get my hand in there. Um, also mentioned that it does, it's solar compatible. Uh, it does not come with the cord with the little solar connectors on it. Uh, that was something, my, my Blue Eddy, it came with that cord. And if you buy the panel from Renogy for this, the panel comes with the cords, which I guess kind of makes sense. Uh, but then you kind of have to buy their panel, whereas the, the Blue Eddy just came with the cord with the little solar connectors that you could hook up to almost any solar panel. Uh, so it's kind of a kind of a con, but not, not really. It's not a big deal. Uh, it's, you can probably order the cord off Amazon anyway. Uh, let's see. Mm, and the last the last con I had written down for this, that it's another minor thing, and it's just because I'm comparing it to a bigger, more expensive you know, battery pack. I do, I do understand that. Uh, but it, the way I think this is going to factor into how I, you know, the way I'm going to use this, this is kind of a, a weird oversight to me. It doesn't have like a little wireless charging pad on top. Um, the, the Blue Eddy has got the one on top. You just set your phone on top, starts charging. Uh, it doesn't, not a deal breaker at all. Um, still is a fine battery charger. It's got, you know, got plugs. But with this being a smaller battery pack, I am less likely to leave this in the, in my rig, power in the fridge all night. And I'm more likely to take this into the tent. Uh, to plug, to charge my phone or maybe a heated blanket or, you know, charge camera batteries, drone batteries, stuff like that. Uh, and you think a little wireless charging thing on top would have been great for that. So I was in the tent, get her to bed, just set the phone down and you're good. Um, so I thought that was a weird oversight. Maybe it was a cost saving thing. Uh, maybe it just didn't fit real well packaging wise. Uh, but I do wish it had that. Uh, so moving from there, we're going to kind of have to go into what I was thinking of the size considerations and kind of a use case for this. Kind of already mentioned that this is not for me having another bigger battery. This is not what I would leave in the car all weekend to run fridge. I don't know if you actually can see the fridge, but it's sitting on the fridge. Um, if, if this was all I had and I had the fridge and not a bigger battery pack, uh, I, this will, this would get you through, you know, if you're moving every day and you just need this to run the fridge overnight while you're at camp and then you can charge it up the next day while you're in the car moving to the new place, uh, situation like that, this will work for your fridge. Um, I don't know if I'd trust it a full two nights, uh, especially if it's summertime and it's hot. Like right now I'm filming in the garage cause it's super hot outside and it's, uh, it's already dark and it's still 90 degrees out. So I'm sitting in the garage sweating, like you can probably tell. But, uh, so if it is really hot out, you're definitely not going to get two nights out of something like this. You might, if it's hot enough, you might be lucky to get one night. Uh, that's where you're going to want to be smart about how you're using your fridge. If you're trying to use the, just something this small, not open the fridge all the time. Uh, make sure everything's pre-chilled when you put it in there. Uh, you know, run, run the fridge off AC power at the house before you leave to kind of get the whole thing cooled down. So it's not doing that all just off the battery, but like I said, I, I would trust this to run the fridge one night and then if, as long as you could charge it up the next day. 
Um, but like I said, in my case, I do have a bigger battery that's more dedicated for the fridge. Uh, and for me, like I said, this is going to be basically um, a, a tent battery. Uh, it's going to go live in the tent um, pretty much every night to charge my phone, charge my smartwatch that I never wear because I like old watches. I don't know. I'm weird. Uh, I have a really nice smartwatch that I almost never wear. Uh, but, you know, I could I could use that to charge this, uh, charge my tablet, you know, charge you know, all that kind of stuff in the tent. Um, and, and the other thing that I'm, I'm looking forward to trying this with uh don't have a uh, don't have a diesel heater yet, and I keep saying I'm going to get one before winter rolls around, and my wife keeps bugging me to make sure I get one before it gets cold. Uh, that'll be a case where it'll be nice to have two different batteries to run things off of. And, uh, but until then, if I don't get it done in time, it'll be great to you know use this to run a heated blanket or stuff like that. And, in fact. In my Forerunner, and this is a weird situation that's specific to me and not anybody else, so it's not really a problem for anybody else. I have no 12-volt uh, cigarette lighter plugs in the front of my vehicle. Uh, I've got a FJ Cruiser transfer case swap, and the uh, the twin sticks for four low and four high and two, four and two wheel drive and all that take up the spot where the cigarette lighter plug usually would be. Uh, so in the front of my vehicle, like I said, there's no cigarette lighter plugs. So if we were just driving around and my wife wanted to use like a heated blanket or something, there's nowhere to plug it in where she could put this down by her feet, uh, run the blanket. I do have probably half a dozen USB plugs up in the front so I can, you know, charge phones and stuff like that. Uh, but if, if I needed to charge my phone, my tablet, the, the drone, the camera, my wife's phone, the kid's phone, all that kind of stuff for like a really long road trip or something. It'd be nice to be able to set this in the back seat and everybody hook their stuff up to it. Uh, use it almost like a like a big power strip. Uh, just give you more options. And then uh, other things this might be really good for is when I'm at camp, usually the fridge and the big battery stay in the vehicle. And if I'm if I'm cooking or doing something, you know, if I want to get like a little mini blender. I can just grab this little guy out to run the mini blender instead of unhooking the fridge from the big battery, dragging the big battery out, running the thing, or taking the blender from where I'm cooking back to the rig to use it. Or it, it'll just be nice to have a smaller, more portable, separate use of you know power power use thing. Uh, so that's really all I have there for the actual you know use case for this. Uh, it's a neat little battery. I'm really excited I want it. I can't wait to use it some more. It's going to be really handy, for, like I said, in the tent, stuff like that. Um, or if I'm doing something, even if it's something small, like we're going to the lake for the day, and I want to run Bluetooth speaker and phone and you know, some random stuff like that, uh, little USB fans or something, this will be great to take out instead of trying to take the big heavy battery. Just something lighter, more portable, really neat thing. Uh, big shout out and big thanks to Dan Beardley uh, on Instagram. Like I said, I have a link in the description to, uh, to his Instagram and to Renegy for sponsoring him for and putting on this the giveaway for these. Uh, it's just a neat little thing. A um, couple of quick wrap up things before we start moving on. Uh, I'm really excited because the channel hit over 200 subscribers last week. Uh, I know there's... It's not really a huge number for anybody, but I didn't know if this was even going to take off at all. I didn't know if anyone would ever watch this besides just a few of my buddies and my wife to just kind of, you know, you know, so they can laugh at me. But I, it's nice to know there actually are some people watching and, and leaving comments and interacting, so that's great. Um, also, this week, I, uh, or this last week, I updated the uh, the logo for Stormcore Overland. I had a buddy of mine made the original logo. Uh, it was a great logo, but it didn't, it was kind of wide. It wouldn't work good for stickers. Uh, so we kind of retweaked the logo, uh, made it pop a little bit more, uh, made it more sticker friendly, which kind of leads into the fact that I'm getting ready to order stickers. Uh, I'm going to rendezvous in the Ozarks uh, in October, and I really want to have stickers to pass out there. Uh, probably going to have at least 200. I don't they're a little expensive to get like nice. I'm trying to make sure I have good stickers. Uh, good stickers aren't cheap. So, 
but I don't really want to get into like selling stickers either. But I'll probably have a stash of them with me at Rendezvous in the Ozarks. And so if any of y'all are out there and you watch the channel, uh, if you see any, be like, hey, let me know. Like, hey, I watch the channel. Hey, do you have any stickers left? But, you know, and I'm happy to give you one. Uh, just be nice to help, you know, to kind of give back to people that actually watch and kind of encourage me to keep doing this. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. That's really about it for the week. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, realize we also release the audio as a podcast. You can find it wherever good podcasts are found. Just search Stormcrow Overland. Uh, if you're listening to this as a podcast, you can also find the video on YouTube. I uh, just search Stormcrow Overland. And finally, you can find us on Instagram at Stormcrow Overland. Uh, nice and easy. Same thing everywhere you go. Uh, new logos should be on all the things uh, starting this week. So uh, if you see the new logo, if you happen to notice it's changed, or if you've made it this far into the video to hear me blather on about it, uh, send me a, leave a comment, send me a message. Let me know. Do you like the new logo? Did you like the old logo better? Uh, big thanks to Jake for making the original logo. I felt kind of bad about tweaking it and changing it up a little bit, but uh, just this is the new logo is going to work better for what we're doing now. Uh, but yeah, like I said, let me know what you think. Uh, and along that kind of line of thought, uh, I would really appreciate any kind of like, comment, follow, subscribe, any of that stuff. Uh, let me know if you're enjoying the content. You know, let me know if you've got a question or if you want to, want to know my thoughts on a certain subject or something. Let me know. Uh, I love getting messages, especially I love getting messages from people I don't know. Uh, it, it just it makes my day. It lets me know that somebody's actually watching this besides just my buddies. Uh, so that's always nice. Um, well, that's really all I have for you this week. So uh, sometimes you have to go out and get lost. Maybe take a little power station with you uh, before you can find yourself. Thanks for watching.